the resistance. All right, well let's um, let's move into the next story, and this one's uh, this one's an interesting because this one is basically kind of you know your story. It's Star Wars Newsnet exclusive here. Oh um, yeah, yeah. So we got uh, some more filming for uh, Jonas Sutomo as Chewbacca. Um, as uh, previously reported, you know he was going to be at the Rose City Comic Con, and it came up that he had to cancel. And as it turns out, the reason he had to cancel was because of uh, rewrites in the script and he had to go back and reshoot some stuff. So he wasn't able to, uh, make his appearance, but then, you know, you hear that story and you start thinking, you know, wait a minute, hold on re rewrites and reshoots. And it gets kind of tricky here. And, uh, but that's the source. That's what we're hearing. So uh, explain this a little bit further, John, what, what's going on with, uh, Jonas here? Yeah, so what we've heard, and um, you know, we double back to uh, check to make sure, you know, what w- was told was correct. And the main chunk of this here is the fact that in June he was booked for this Comic Con, right? And then we look at this timeline that I have here, and on June twenty eighth, you have Billy D. Williams canceled commitments to the same events, same mm-hmm. time frames, same everything. Um, we gather there this, that part speculation on my part, that that's when Billy D Williams officially signed on for episode nine. Uh, people were wondering why that cast announcement didn't happen yet. I think they were trying to finalize that deal to bring him on before they announced the cast. So then filming begins a month later, August 1st, a week after filming begins, Jonas Sotomo cancels his appearance at Rose city comic con. So again, this is a week after filming started. So obviously he had no clue that he was going to be filming for this movie when filming started, uh, that he'd be filming in September. And he was booked for all three dates for this event. Um, so yeah, which, which ha- to, to, to specify, that was September 7th, 8th, and 9th. Right. That he, w- he had something booked September 7th, 8th, and 9th. He was going to be good. He was going to be able to show up. Then somewhere around August 8th, he says not able to do it anymore. They changed some stuff, some rewrites. I got more to do. And there we go. So, Yeah. So we heard uh, from the source that the reason for his cancellation is due to rewrites and him having to film additional scenes as Chewbacca. He has to go back to England in September when originally he was not supposed to at all. Mm -hmm. Um, So then we go from there and look at Billy D. Williams situation and everything lines up with him having to cancel multiple events in the, around the same weeks that Jonas canceled his events in September, which has me thinking the reason for the rewrites is there we're going to see more Lando scenes here being filmed in September, and Chewbacca is going to be right in the thick of those things. So I'm speculating that we're going to be getting scenes between both of them. How much? I'm not quite sure, but it was enough for both of them to pull out and for them to pull Jonas out of his commitment, even after filming on this movie started, to have him go back to film some more scenes as Chewbacca. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny too. Cause like, I remember, uh, when the, uh, second independence day movie was in production and they were waiting on Will Smith, you know, can yep. we get Will Smith? Is it possible? We don't know. The script is done. In fact, there's two scripts done. They had one complete script that involved, uh, Will Smith's character returning and they had another one as if he never showed up. And right. that those kind of details are crazy when you think, well, that that's like a difference between a whole, it's a whole different movie you wrote, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, they were just waiting to get the confirmation that that character was coming back. And uh, so as soon as they, they got the confirmation that they were going to get Billy D Williams, it looks like uh, JJ started thinking, well, well, dang, well, if we got Billy, hold on, let me go back. Let me take another look at the script. Let me pen some things around. Can we get Jonas? What's he doing? Oh, he's making an appearance at a convention. Let's get him out here. You know, big deal kind of thing. Like, I'm sorry for the people who were excited to see him. That's always a a great get. Um, But at the same time, like, he has a chance to show up with Lando, and that's a a once-in-a-lifetime thing. This is episode nine we're talking about, you know, so let's do it. Um, anything else about this report that, uh, yeah. So it's funny. A lot of people latched, didn't latch onto that part, which I thought was the most interesting because you're talking about rewrites to the final script mm-hmm. in the Skywalker saga. That is pro- likely in my speculation that other people have believed to be 
uh, sound speculation that you're getting Lando Calrissian and Chewie back together. Um, and the fact that he had to change his schedule after filming started really shows that that was something that kind of sprung up in uh, late in the game here. Uh, but another thing that people uh, harped on to was that, you know, we also heard this and we had to report it. Doesn't mean we're 100% be in, you know, believing this, but the source does tell us that uh, Jonas filmed some stuff for episode nine at the tail end of the production for Solo. Um, and a lot of people screamed and hollered about that and said, that's crazy. And, you know, some of the report um, from what we heard said he filmed a lot of stuff. But, um, I mean, I don't find it that crazy, being that J.J. was likely brought in in August. Uh, solo filming went through the till the end of October, so it's possible they did some action shots, maybe even second unit type stuff, or, you know, oh, he's in the cockpit here, we're standing outside the ship here, we can get this, get that, help me out. I mean, we've seen it done in Star Wars before. Lucas did it by filming stuff for Episode 3 during Episode 2. Uh, we've seen... Uh, Marvel do it with the Avengers. Stan Lee's cameos were done years ago. I mean, it happens across related productions. So to me, it's not that crazy for him to have filmed stuff. I don't necessarily think he filmed a lot of stuff either, but that's what we heard, so we reported it. Yeah, and I think that's the that's really the, the end of that conversation is, you know, yeah. we just... Uh, I understand, we understand that that can be the weird red flag, the weird situation in the oh, story. Yeah. Every, course, everything yeah. starts to make sense, and then you hear one aspect of this, and you're like, wait a minute, hold on, he was filming during Solo? You mean Ron Howard was filming stuff for him, or, or what What was going on? None of that makes sense. I I dismiss this story, you know? Um, and that's the only thing that, that kind of stuck out to me, too, but at the same time, like, we have seen people do this, and like, I've I've talked about I just got done talking about resurgence. Like you try to tell somebody, yeah, they had two scripts for this movie, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> just dependent on one small little aspect. And it's like, that's almost an unbelievable story, but it, but it's the truth, you know? So I don't know. It, 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 it does seem kind of weird, but at the same time, when somebody comes up and he says, Hey, we have this, 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 and all that stuff lines up. And then also there's this one thing that's kind of weird. Let's just take him for his word, you know? That we yeah. think that's what the story is, and that's what we're being told, so we're going to report yeah. that. Yeah, and again, the, the the most interesting part of this story to me really is the fact that yeah. you got late in the game rewrites going on yeah. here to the fact that this guy was booked solid for a three-day convention where he didn't think he was going back to the States, West Coast, <laughs> yeah. no interest in filming whatsoever, not on the schedule, and all of a sudden, a week after production starts, he, he goes, I got to pull out of this thing because of additional filming. That part is confirmed. Uh, I know that for a fact, and uh, th so we're getting you know some added stuff happening here late in the game. And like I said, I really do think it is Lando and Chewie, and uh, I couldn't be happier about that. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and head over to the full episode by clicking this box here. If you want, you can subscribe, and that way you get all the weekly news, you get our discussions, you get. Uh, information on our giveaways whenever we do them. It's a good time, we promise. Thanks for watching the Resistance broadcast.